All right, welcome to Introduction to Motion. This is Mr. Z, and today we're just going to look at some real, real basic stuff. And uh, the first thing we're going to look at is that motion is described by something called speed, which is kind of similar to velocity. We'll talk about the difference in class, but let's get into it. First, uh, we've been using this gimbo, uh, gizmo on explorelearning.com called Measuring Motion, and you film animals as they cruise across the uh, African savanna. And so in this particular case, we see a lion in this picture cruising across, and the lion is passing some trees. Now we're going to use those trees as reference points. A reference point is simply an object that we use to compare something to to see if it's moving. And objects that move change their position when compared to those reference points. Now, if you remember from the gizmo, the trees that are up there, these guys right here, um, are five meters apart from each other. So that means that every time the line goes from here to about the same place there, he's going to travel five meters. So what we need to do, first of all, is look at our formula up here. Our formula says that speed is distance divided by time, and we're going to end up with a unit known as a meter per second. So every second, how many meters is he going, and that's the unit that we're going to look for. So first of all, I'm, I'm just going to mark out something here, and right there on top of that picture, we'll see that's the, the head of the lion is about, I'm going to say about one-fifth of the way between the trees. Now, it might be a little less than that, but that's probably a fairly accurate estimate of where the lion is. Now, one second later, we'll mark him over here. It's not perfect, but he's probably about... Um, I don't know, maybe half of the way between the two trees. And so what I'm going to do is just label it. If I said that over here he had one meter left to go before he gets to the next tree, and then this is five meters, and this is five meters, and let's just say down here, so I'm just going to draw these zeros down. So, so far we've got five, ten, and one more is eleven. And then if he's halfway, then this guy right here, is 2.5 meters more. So if we add all these up, 5 and 5 is 10, 11, and then 2.5 would be 13.5 meters. It's probably a good estimate of the distance that this line has traveled. And we're going to divide that by, as you can see them here, if I erase my stuff that got in the way, we went from time 0 to time one second left so that's pretty easy to figure that out okay that's one second and so if we set that equal to the speed 13.5 divided by one is indeed 13.5 meters per second so what that means is pretty straightforward every second that that lion is going to travel um 13.5 meters so if we let him go um, if we let him go a, another second, he would have traveled 27.0, whoops, meters per second, okay? Because in two, or not per second, 27.0 meters, let me erase that, because two seconds, two times 13.5 is 27. And so that's basically how speed works. You have to use a reference point or some measurement for distance, usually in meters. And you've got to use some measurement of time, usually seconds. And then that gives us uh, meters per second. So speed is how we measure motion. An object changes its position. We measure how much the position changes in meters, divide by how long it took take um, how long it took to make that change, and we get speed. So hope that helped. Check out explorelearning.com. Um, awesome, awesome website, and uh, some of the other things in this Evernote notebook. Awesome. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed it.